Welcome back, folks. I am Manic Mink. This is Europe Universalis 4. We are still playing, and, uh... Currently, I'm trying to save as much gold as I can. Uh, reason being for that is I want to... get, uh, a university so that I can lower my tech cost. I think it would help. France broke their alliance with us. Oh. Joy. Um. Let's... Relations with Lundberg, Saxony, you are basically fine, so let's take you back and let's try and get France back into uh, alliance. We offer an alliance, 32, distance between borders, same religion. Let's improve relations, sure. That should help, right? Uh, you are my rival, you guys love me, that's good. Um... And says left a military coalition against us. Saxony is back, so let's improve relations here. I'm kind of uh, struggling to figure out what to do, to be honest with you. Um, because... I need to somehow break this up. This mess going on here. Um, and I don't have the troops to do it. Uh, and I don't have the troops to fight Spain or France or even Muscovy, because they have 80,000 troops, and I do not. Look at how big their fucking name is on the map. Uh, crazy, huh? Yeah, I don't have the troops for that. Uh, so I have to be very careful about kind of how I go about uh, basically everything. Currently I want to get 800 gold. If I can get 800 gold, then I can build a unique building, and then I can go back to making more army force limits, uh, or increasing my army strength. Uh, let's bump this up a bit so that you can recover your manpower, sure. <laughs> uh, I'll go for innovative ideas next, and then offensive ideas would help. Aristocratic ideas lowers military tech costs. Quantity ideas gives me more troops. Hmm. Yeah, you've insulted us. Go figure. You and everybody else. Um, diplomatic relations, let's see how we're doing on that. Uh, Sloanberg, Riga. I try and absorb the Teutonic Order, I suspect, will be my next. Moscovy left a military coalition, that's good. 803. Uh, and let's, since we have that now, we'll drop our maintenance back down. I don't know, we're trying to, uh, we're trying to do a bunch of stuff, but we're at the point in the game where we're butting up against people who are a lot stronger than us. Um, I wish I knew... Poland, you're allied with Lithuania, Bavaria, yeah, you're allied with Spain and Austria, so I can't do anything against you. You are at war and losing with the Ottomans. Uh, Bohemia, you are on my side at least, so that's good. Um, Brandenburg, you like me. Improve relations with you. Twenty-five gold a month, so every four months we get a hundred gold, which is nice. Um, yes. Oh, this is going to be good. Um, Palatinate, you are. Where are you, Palatinate? Oh, that's going to be great. If um, if Austria. You know, 
I don't want to say screws up, but if things stay how they are, when the Austrian Emperor dies, the Palatinate will become the uh, Holy Roman Emperor. And that should leave a lot of things open to be uh, eaten without much, uh, without much interference, I guess I would say. Because uh, that means Austria doesn't go to war with me every time I, fight, I get into any sort of situation. Let's build a university in uh, Smolen, sure. That'll be good, that'll help us with our tech situation. Um, you improve relations here. Uh, dock is trade power stuff. I don't know, I could build more unique buildings, but... Oh, technology. Good, good, yes, you are ten years ahead of time, so I should be able to actually not do much of anything with it. Sure, time to fabricate claims will be reduced, diplomatic relations plus two. Hmm. You will go up to... Yeah, that'll be good, that'll be good. I don't want to make any more units because I'd like to build eight more, but... Ah, uh, I'm gonna... Should I build forts in these provinces? Should I keep trying to focus on money? What is, what is actually, like, this track? Tax modifier, goods produced, production efficiency, tax modifier. Defense tax modifier. So let's build workshops in as many places as I can. Uh, go for the most production efficient ones, I suppose, or the ones that give me the biggest bonus first. That'll be the best, and then I will... Yeah, I'm going to try and get my 20% uh, tax increase uh, buildings going. This is mostly just a building episode, honestly. I'm kind of holding off on the war situation for a while. Uh, incorporate Teutonic Order into our country. Yes, I'll do that. You are still allied with Bavaria, Papal State, and Muscovy. Austria is still the Emperor, and now will be the Emperor again, because they've improved relations with Holstein. Damn it. Um, hmm. Sort of a frustrating turn of events in that thing, sort of. Now stagnate and sit. I wish you would break an alliance with Livonian Order, please. I would really appreciate that if you could just if you could just do that for me. Gain a hundred administrative power. That's good. Uh, let's see, so here's a seventy-three. Hungary is at war with Wallachia, Ottomans, Hejaz, Najd, Trebizond. Yeah, I guess I'll join them in a war. Uh, I have no advisor. Stability cost guy. 181 for that. Let's boost our stability up. May as well. For extension, make a core, an osul, sure. Uh, a little bit more of that will give us, yeah, 10% more tax and some nicer situations going on. Um, right, I still need to hire an advisor. Uh, stability cost guy, sure. Establish Sunday schools. Sure, that's easy enough to do. Witchcraft Act, I don't actually want to pass. Until 36. Uh, don't really want to do that either, but... 
This is, yeah, administrative points, I thought so. Just trying to start building it in places that uh, I know benefit the most from it. So again, uh, this is a percentage increase, so if you have a very small percentage, it doesn't really help that much. But a large percentage does help. If, well, that is pretty obvious, but um, for some reason I felt like I should explain that just in case uh, we didn't know what percentages were. I don't know. Uh, alliance offer from France. Oh! Oh, now you're back. Well, thanks, France. Hi, how are you doing? Um, Spain is collapsing. That is perfect. Um, hmm. <laughs> um, Spain, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to see your army. 1786, 1445, uh, 1433. Three. So I think I need some more infantry troops, honestly. Yes, improve relations fully, that's good. Uh, we will start integrating you, uh, Annex Vassal. Right. Can't want do that while we're at war, and we are at war. Uh, Hungary is at war with somebody who is not... Uh, is not really that helpful to me, unfortunately. Um, Holstein, um, improve relations with you. I wish I could get that up enough with Holstein to be able to vassalize them, because then they'd probably start voting for me, and I could dethrone Austria. Well, not me specifically, but anyone else would be able to dethrone Austria. Hmm, let's... Right, no, we can't do that. Um have to sit and wait. I'm just going to improve relations with Austria then, because I don't have anything better to do with my time. England? How does England feel about me? Let's... sure. Do that until we get out of the war, and then at least I can start to, uh... start to annex Teutonic Order. Build more buildings. 74? Sure. don't actually know what these buildings... what these provinces are. Uh, goods produced? Furs. Interesting. So you also, we should also name some rivals. Uh, Livonian Order, yes. Guess I could rival Muscovy. Um, yeah. And Mecklenburg probably is my next rival. Or my next, my next target, I guess. Next thing I'm going to be going after. You are... All over the place, yeah. 30,000. 13, 13, 4. Jeez, that's nuts. Um, military tech. I'm, yeah, I'm still... Still trying to catch up, I guess, with military tech, so I don't want to spend points in that, even though I probably should, because uh, that extra discipline would help me in combat. Hmm, hmm, <laughs> Workshop, yeah, we'll build it here. Then there, 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 and like kind of in this area. And then we'll swing back through all of this, I suppose. Don't know why certain ones are affected by, uh, a, seem to be affected by this a lot more than others. Uh, certain provinces, I don't know. Like, in theory, they're all sort of the same, so why is one province going to be producing more of it than another? But, uh, yeah, I'm not, not too sure. Still at war. This is a peace offer from Wallachia. Am I the leader in this? Oh, yes, of course, I'll take that. Uh... Build another workshop. 
Now we'll stop improving relations with Great Britain right now. Uh, and also stop with Austria, because I want to actually ally with Great Britain if I can get a chance to. Uh, Teutonic Order is doing well, so we will annex Vassal there. Uh, and you would accept an alliance once, uh, for alliance, yes. Good, Great Britain is allied with us, uh, and they have 2295. What's their military attack like? 18? Mine is, what, uh, 17. Yeah, so we're kind of falling behind with military attack a bit. Unfortunate, because all of the rest of our ideas pretty much are military-based. Um, I'm going to continue to this sort of uh, project that I'm on, because it will hopefully help improve my economy if I can get some more money. And if I can improve my economy, I can hire better advisors. If I can hire better advisors, I can... You know, you guys get you guys get what goes on after that. If I hire better advisors, I get more tech levels. I get more tech, I suppose. Um, right, come on. Next month, I should get more. New research is heretical. I'll lose prestige. That's fine. Because I am at, yeah, if I could get up to six, I'd, I'd only be losing four per month, and then that would be a bit better than losing uh, six diplomatic points a month. Um, anyone else at point seven? Anyone else? Anyone else? Going once? Yes, here. Yeah, if I can get that tax income, uh, tax boost, that'd be really great. Gain eight points a month, so I'm not going too far over my amount of points that I need or have. Uh, now we'll start hitting, it looks like 50-something is the next highest. Uh, yeah, Then once we integrate that, then I think we'll probably go to war with the uh, Livonian Order again. As of course, there's a time when Muscovy does something stupid, goes to war with someone. You break your alliance with Muscovy, that would be great. Um, we could actually improve relations with Livonian Order. We're going to try that. Who knows, it might uh, might cause them to like us more, and then maybe something happens? Holstein has improved relations as much as it can. Uh, yeah, that's the thing, we have minus 100 because we're not a member of the HRE. Um, 142 for them at that. Moonberg would accept an alliance with us. Should I sacrifice my diplomatic points? And yes. Yes, I should. To try to get... Uh, vassalization, you can't be vassalized. Um, Augsburg would not because... Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't really diplo-vassalize a lot of people. I can only sort of kind of vassalize people. Uh, yes, the point of uh, allying with some of the electors is that if they go to war with me on my side uh, and Austria goes to war with them, it will ruin their reputation with Austria and hopefully then Austria will be elected, will not be elected anymore. Um, if that makes sense. Okay, looks like we've just about hit sort of uh, neutral, I guess, with... He's not assisting, we lose some gold. Let's uh, improve relations with Great Britain? Sure. 
Revival, Evangelical Union, Broke Royal Marriage. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to have to come back to this next time. Uh, still just with the building. I'm Manic Mink. This is Europe Universalis 4. Catch you next time. Take care.